Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy new years to every single person watching this video. We are now in the year 2022. I wish you guys all the best of luck this year. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the best solo public session glitches to do in GTA 5 online. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can put yourself in a solo public session for Xbox, PlayStation, and also PC. So no matter what console you guys are on, you're going to be able to do this. And if you guys want to just skip forward to your console, just go down below in the description, click the timestamp of your console, and then you guys can just skip forward to your part. Anyways, as I always say, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video. And also hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already. And now let's get straight into the video. All right, so for the first solo public session glitch, this is going to be for my Xbox people. So first thing you're going to want to do is obviously put yourself in a public session just like i am right here you can see there's 20 people in my session once you guys are inside of a public session from here you're just going to want to click your xbox home button and then you're going to want to go over to your settings just like this once you're here at your settings you're going to want to come up to where it says account and then go up to where it says privacy and online safety then click where it says xbox privacy from here go down to where it says view details and customize and then go down to where it says communication and multiplayer go to this first option right here and then click where it says block once that's set to block then you're just going to want to back out completely and then go over back to gta 5 online you guys can see we're still in the session the same amount of people are still inside of here now all you're going to want to do is simply open up your pause menu and then you're going to want to go to where it says online and then come over here and then click find new session from here once you click find new session you're going to be loading in through the clouds and not even 10 seconds later you guys are going to get an alert we're just going to stay here and wait for that alert to pop up because it should pop up relatively fast okay once it does pop up you can see right here it just popped up it's going to say this from here click where it says okay once you click okay it's going to tell you to basically put your password into your account so just simply put your password in hopefully you guys know your own password pretty sure you guys do once you guys do put your password in just click okay and then you're going to want to click where it says allow you can see right here i just clicked allow and from here that's literally it from here you're just going to load into a new session and just like that you are now done doing the solo public session glitch now you just have to wait until you load into the session and as soon as you guys load in you'll be the only person in here now really simple really easy glitch to do it shouldn't take you more than maybe two minutes to do you can see right now i'm going to click down d-pad pay attention at the top left you can see i'm in a public session completely by myself so yeah, this is for Xbox. Now we're going to get into how to do it over on PlayStation because I'm pretty sure we have lots of people watching on PlayStation. And then at the end, I'll show you guys how to do the glitch on PC. So now getting into the PlayStation version of the solo public session glitch, it's actually very simple and easy to do. If you guys are already on GTA, just like I am right here, you're simply going to want to close your application. So right now, if you haven't closed your GTA, I recommend clicking your PlayStation home button, go to the PlayStation home. You're going to want to go over GTA and then close your application. So you can see right here, I just closed my game application. From here, now you're going to want to go up to where it says settings. Once you click settings, go down to where it says network, then go down to where it says settings. Once you guys are in settings, you're going to want to click set up internet connection, and then you're going to want to go to the internet that you're connected to. From here, you're going to want to click it and then click advanced settings. From here, scroll down until you guys see MTU settings and then click that. Once you click it, you're going to want to set it to manual. Once you set that to manual, come down to MTU, click that, and then it's going to say 1500 or it should say 1500. Just erase it and then put 800. Once you guys click 800, you're going to want to now put done and then click OK. From here, you're going to want to wait until everything is set up. Once it's all set up, you're now going to just want to back out all the way and load up Grand Theft Auto. But the catch is once you guys are loading up Grand Theft Auto, you guys know you usually go straight into story mode. From here, you're actually going to want to go straight into online. You guys can see I'm going straight into online right now. Now, this might take a little bit longer depending on what console you guys are playing on. I'm currently playing on PlayStation 5, so it didn't take me too long, but it might take anywhere from two to three minutes to load in. You just have to be a little bit patient, though. Once you guys finally do load in, though, you guys are going to be in a solo public session, which makes it all worth it. You can see, though, it is taking a little bit longer, not going to lie. If I was on Xbox, it would have been way faster than this. But PlayStation 5 is not slow load time. It's also fast load time, but it's nowhere near Xbox. Anyway, you can see right here, I am now finally about to load into the session. And once you guys finally load into the session, you guys are going to be in a solo public lobby. So yeah, that's how you do the solo public session glitch over on PlayStation. It should take you anywhere from four to five minutes to do. And it's very simple once you guys do it. I'm also pretty sure if you do the solo public session glitch like this on PlayStation, no one's ever going to join your solo public session, which is pretty cool. But anyway, now let's get to the last method, which is going to be how to do the solo public session glitch for PC. All right, now for my PC people, I'm going to show you guys how to do the solo public session glitch over on PC, but I also want you guys to keep in mind that this works on any single platform as well, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. From here, you're going to want to go to online though, go down to where it says playlist, and they're going to want to click create. 
once you guys click create playlist you're going to want to go down to where it says add race and then go down to this race right here it's called criminal records now click a on it to add it to your playlist click b and then you're just going to want to save this playlist you can name it whatever you guys want to i just named it one and you guys can see i'm on xbox but this works on any single platform it doesn't even matter which one you guys are on from here though you're going to want to go to your playlist and then start up the playlist that we just made with that one race go to number of laps and then set that to one and then make sure race type is set to standard from here you're just going to want to start up the race but as soon as you start up the race you're going to want to have a friend in any different session in gta 5 online now that doesn't matter if it's an invite only public or whatever just make sure you guys have another friend ready in a different session so once you have your friend ready in a different public session in gta 5 online or just any session in general you're simply going to want to do the one lap race it should take you right around 25 seconds to complete and once you guys do complete the race it's going to say you finished in first place you're now going to want to wait for all these different screens to go away it's just going to have the first place screen then you're going to have where you get your money then your rp and then after this is going to be where your character dances and does a little emote thing and right after this screen you're going to want to pay close attention because you don't want to mess anything up so from here you're simply going to want to like the race so just like the race as soon as you like it you're now going to want to click restart once you restart the race there's going to be a timer starting from 30 seconds going down to zero as soon as that timer gets down to zero seconds that's when you're going to want to invite your friend in a different session to your game you can see right here it is about to go down to zero right here as soon as it gets to zero now you're going to want to send your friend an invite to the game you can see i'm inviting him over on xbox but don't worry even if you're on pc you can just invite him through pc or if you're on playstation invite him through playstation or you can also just join off your name it's completely up to you i recommend just sending them an invite they can also join off you as well though it just really depends what you want to do anyway once your friend is joining your game as soon as that timer hits zero seconds you're gonna be on a glitch screen just like this you can see you're gonna be like kind of glitched out in this little area on the map and then eventually it's gonna load you back into the job that we were just in once you guys are back in the job you're gonna want to wait until your friend actually joins the lobby you can see right here i'm just waiting till my friend joins the lobby eventually he is gonna be joining you and once he actually joins into your lobby you're simply just gonna want to tell him to leave the lobby and as soon as he leaves that lobby he's gonna be in a solo public session now all he's gonna want to do after that is send you an invite to his session and once you join his session you're literally gonna be in his session in a solo public lobby you could tell him to leave or he could just be there chilling with you most of the time even if you're in a solo public session you end up inviting a friend or two so most likely you'll just end up being in there with him anyway yeah, this is very simple you can see my friend just left the mission as soon as he left the mission i left it so i could accept his invite and once i accepted his invite i joined back in the session you guys can see if i click down d-pad i am in his session and we are in a solo public lobby but yeah that is now going to be the end of today's video now you guys know how to do the solo public session glitch on xbox on playstation and also on pc hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video do me a big favor go down below hit that like button also hit that subscribe button if you guys are new around here i do upload daily gta 5 online videos and trust me you don't want to miss out on any one of them but that's basically it for me and i will see you guys in my next video peace